So it's important, again, to realize that uh, in the case of circular motion, the direction of motion is changing all the time. And in that case, the force points towards the center of the circle. And this is the direction of the force. So the velocity is always tangential to the trajectory and the force in this case, because the direction of motion is changing all the time, has to point towards the center. So then if you look at, for instance, the motion of the moon around the Earth, it moves roughly in the circular path. So what is the force in that case, if the Newton is correct, that is causing the moon to constantly change its direction of motion? Uh, so Newton, if this is here the Earth, and this is the moon, the force in this case is the force of gravity on the moon exerted by the Earth. His reasoning was as follows. You know, even the ancients know, knew that if you drop something, it falls down, it looks, it's pulled down by the Earth. That's what people mean by the gravity, right? Also, if I project something horizontally, it will fly off, but it will move along the curved path, and eventually it will fall down, right? If I increase the speed with which I project this marker, it's going to travel a bigger distance, right? So as I increase the horizontal speed, the horizontal distance traveled gets longer and longer, but it turns out that the time in which it falls down is always the same. There is no difference if you hit the tennis ball with your racket very hard, or, and somebody just drops from the same height above the uh, ground the ball. The two balls, the one hit hard horizontally and then one dropped, would actually hit the surface at the same time. Right? Because the reason is that the, the force that is actually causing them to fall is the force of gravity, and it's the same for both. So Newton's reasoning was as follows. He said, OK, imagine that I have a gun, right? And I have a shot, and I pack a certain amount of gunpowder into the gun. I fire the gun, and uh, it, the shot will have some initial speed, and eventually it would fall down under the influence of gravity. If I pack in more gunpowder so that it leaves the gun with a greater horizontal speed, it will travel longer distance, but it would fall down. Right? Nevertheless. If I pack in even more gunpowder and give it even bigger initial speed, it would travel, travel, but by the time it's about to fall, it, its horizontal range is so big that actually the Earth starts curving under it. The, the curvature of the Earth becomes relevant. But eventually it would fall down. And if the speed is high enough and just right, the shot would never fall. It would simply be constantly falling, but would never fall down. Because by the time it's about to fall, the surface of the Earth has curved so that its height above the ground locally is always the same. OK? So then he realized that the same force that is pulling this uh, object in the vicinity of the Earth down 
extends all the way to the moon and beyond. And it's causing the moon to fall down, but actually never quite fall. So moon revolving around the Earth is effectively constantly falling down under the influence of gravity. But because it has horizontal speed, it does never fall down. Instead, it stays in the orbit. OK, so uh, you, know, you can uh, make the same argument uh, by a person throwing uh, a ball, right? If you throw the ball with certain initial speed, it will travel some distance and fall down. If you throw it with a bigger speed, it would travel a longer horizontal distance, but would fall down, and so on. But now, if you imagine a Superman, uh, with a really strong arm, uh, throwing the ball with great enough speed. If the speed is large enough, the ball would be falling constantly, but because the surface of the Earth is curving, it never actually falls down. It would hit the pitcher in the back of the head. So Newton concluded. So this here, the ball falls under the influence of gravity. And here it does the same thing. It falls down under the influence of gravity. So Newton concluded that the Earth's gravitational pull uh, extends all the way to the moon and beyond, uh, and that the moon is falling all the time under the influence of gravity.